Good evening. Can you hear me? Nelly, can you hear me? Melvin, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yes. Very good, thank you. Thank you. Gerardo, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I do. Very good. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. It's March 10th. How was your day? Um, for me, I'm fine. Good, very Everything good. Everything okay. Good. Where do you work, Gerardo? In uh, Acajutla, Sepa, Port of Acajutla. Very good. And do you live in Sonsonate? Uh, not. Uh, I live. I live in Acajutla. Oh, okay. Good. Very good. All right, Nelly. What about you? Where do you work? Nelly, can you hear me? Maybe not. Okay, Melvin, you were in class yesterday, right? Yes. yes, I was yesterday. Okay, good, very good. All right, so do you remember the topics that we discussed yesterday? Yes, we talked about the month of the years, the the, I don't know the, the date, how when I tell the exactly the date. Very good, very good. Yes, so we were discussing the months of the year. What is the last month of the year? Of December? December, that is correct. What is the first month of the year? January. Yes, that is correct. January. Good. Now, how many months do we have in the year? How many months do we have in the year? Twelve. Twelve. How do you say dose in English? Okay. Can you read my lips? You say 12. 12. So you have to make sure that you're making um, you're making a combination of your lower lip with your upper teeth. And you say 12. 12. 12. So it's yeah. not 12, it's not 12, it's 12. 12, 12, 12, 12, yes. Okay, so we have 12 months. Do you remember the names of the months? Yes. Okay, what are the names? Teacher, teacher I think Nelly doesn't hear us. Yes, I'm, I'm answering right now, check your headset please okay hopefully she will do what i tell her all right so we have 12 months how do you say fechas in english dates 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 is correct dates and remember, in English, when we talk about dates, we always use ordinal numbers. Oh, yes. Every yeah. day is ordinal, every day. 
Spanish is different. In Spanish, only the first month of the year is ordinal. Then the following day, we say dos, tres, cuatro, but English is different. Every day is ordinal. So you're supposed to say first, second, third, fourth, and so on. Are we okay with that? Are we okay? Yes. Okay. Do you have any questions about yesterday? No questions? No. Okay, let me show you this. Let me share an image with you. Okay, can you see the image? Yes. Yes. Okay, what do you see in the image? What do you see? Uh, date. Date. Exactly. And what are the names of these numbers? The ones you have on your screen? Um, or ordinary. Exactly. Very good. Ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers. Yes. So as you can see, we have the first number here. And this is the last one. ¿Por qué creen que llega hasta el 31? Why only the first 31? Um, because it's the last day of the month. Good, very oh. good. Because it's the last day of the month. It's the last day of the calendar. Oh, the calendar. <laughs> yes, good, very good. Now, um, so as you can see, how do you say this one? How do you pronounce this? First. 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 Second. Second. Three. Third. Okay, listen. Let me do it. Let me do it one time. Pay attention. First. Okay. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. Tenth. As you can see, del 4 al 10, the only difference between cardinal and ordinal is TH at the end. So you have to make sure that when you pronounce ordinal numbers, you need to pronounce TH. So 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. And then we go with the second group. You say 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. How do you say vigésimo in English? 20th. 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 Yes, you can perfectly say 20th, or if you prefer, you can say 20th. The two options 20th. are good. 20th. Yeah, so it's your decision whether you include the second T or you omit it. So you say 20th or 20th. The two options are good. Then we have 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th. You can say 30th, or if you prefer, you can say 30th. And then the last one is 31st. Any questions about pronunciation? No. Okay. Uh, teacher, the next numbers is the same. Uh, exactly. 40, Good question. 43rd, 42nd, 43rd. Exactly. Exactly. The same sequence that you have from 1st to 31st, 
you do exactly the same thing from 41st yeah. to 49. 71st, 79, 81st, 89th, and so on. So, when is Children's Day in El Salvador? October 1st. October 1st. Very good. Okay. When, when is um, Independence Day in El Salvador? September. September 15th. 15th. Yes, yeah, September 15th. When is Mother's Day in El Salvador? 10th May. May 10th. Okay. May 10th. May 10th. May 10th. Okay. When is Teacher's Day? Twenty. Um, 22. Okay, is it 22 or 22nd? 22nd. Uh, 22. 22nd. 22nd. Uh -huh. 22nd June. Yes, because we're talking about dates. And when we talk about dates in English, every day is ordinal. So you're supposed to say June 22nd. Okay. When is your birth date? My birth date is December 21st. When is yours? Anybody? My, my birth date is 20th July. July 20th. July 20th. Very good. What about the others? My birthday is January 13th. 13th. Oh, interesting. That's, that's the date of the earthquakes, huh? That's right. Yeah, an anniversary. Okay. Anybody else wants to share your date of birth? Oh, my birth is on November 17th. November 17th. 17th. Okay, good. Very good. Someone else? My birthday is on July 1st. July 1st. Very good, Ada. Anybody else? My birthday is on January 8th. Okay, January 8th. Thank you, Geraldine. Anybody else? January 17th. 17th. Very good. January 17th. And what is today's date? What's today? Mm -hmm. uh, is Tuesday. March, March 10th. 10th. Exactly. March 10th. Alguien más que quiera decirnos su fecha de cumpleaños? Anybody else? No. Okay, do you have any questions about yesterday? Mm. No, is everything no. clear? Yes. Okay, very good. So, let me do this here. see what did I do what did I do all right did you have the chance to check the platform uh, me yesterday yes okay what about the others me and today not yet not yet okay so um, let me show you this Okay, do you see the image? Yes. yes. Okay. What do you see in the picture? Uh, a cake. A cake, exactly. When do you eat cake? On birthdays. On birthdays. Good, very good. 
what is a traditional birthday in El Salvador? Only cake? Um, piñata? Yes, piñata. Can candies. Yes, you put candies. Okay. Horchata. Horchata. <laughs> Sandwiches. <laughs> Suspiros. <laughs> piñatas. Yes. Papusa. Papusas. <laughs> yes. So that is the traditional um, birthday in El Salvador. Um, do you see the picture? What else do you see besides the cake? Do you see that these three people? What are they doing? Singing happy birthday. Singing, exactly. They're singing happy birthday. How does he feel? Embarrassed. Embarrassing. Very good. He feels embarrassed. Yes. Have you ever been in a restaurant when they sing happy birthday to you? Yes. yes. And how do you feel? Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes people feel a little bit embarrassed, especially because every okay. Um, how many people in the conversation? Two people. Mm. Two, two people. Two people, right? What are their names? And Philip and Philip. Angie. Okay, Angie and yes. Phillips. So I'm going to read the conversation one time. Um, if you identify any new vocabulary, just let me know when I finish. So pay attention. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Any questions there? Any questions about meaning or pronunciation what does it mean waiter wait there okay um do you see these people yes yes okay yes what is their occupation they are waiters Meseras. okay it's it, when you say waiters you say it in general so a waiter is a person that brings you the food to your table, brings you food to the table. Yes. Now remember that waiter is for men and waitress is for women. Waitress. Waitress, yes. With double S. Double S, that is correct. All right. Uh, any other questions about the conversation, about the vocabulary? Is everything clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. When when was the last time you went to a to a birthday party? Last when was the last last month for me last month okay yeah. good and the others when was the last time you attended a birthday party last month last month okay good all right so i need two volunteers to read the conversation i need angie and i need philip now remember what happens to your intonation when you see this mark? This is a question. Exactly. Your intonation has to be of a question. Now, what is the function of this punctuation mark? 
A pause. Well, very good. It's a pause. And oh. what is the function of this one here? Long pause. Yes, you can say a long pause or you stop. And one last one. What is the function of this one? Nice. Yes, nice. 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 Yes, so you're, you're supposed to show excitement. And, that, and that's the function of that um, punctuation mark. Okay, can I have two volunteers? Two volunteers? Um, Angie. Okay, Angie, you are uh, Pamela. And Cecilia, yes. you are Philip. Yes. Okay, one, two, three. Lights, camera, action. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. In the waiter, I probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> All right, very good. Any questions about uh, the conversation or the picture? No? No. Okay, no. ahorita los pongo en pareja a trabajar. For example, if I am working with Pamela, Pamela is going to be Angie and I'm going to be Philip. When we finish, we change. Pamela is going to be Philip and I'm going to be Angie. And that way we practice all the conversation. Do you have any questions? Alguna pregunta antes de ponerlos a trabajar en pareja y que practiquen la, la conversación? Okay, let me do this here. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Right here, breakout rooms. So I'm going to make five groups and each group is going to have, no, not groups, but I will make five pairs. So here we go. Hello, Geraldine. Hello, teacher. Hello, Gerardo. Hello. Okay. Um, do you have the conversation with you? Yes. You have the conversation? Yes. ¿Agarraron la imagen de la conversación? Yes. No, no, I am not. Okay, give me one second. La mandó por, por el WhatsApp. I did. Alguien la mandó por el WhatsApp. Oh, very good. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> sí, porque no me acuerdo. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, Gerardo, you are in the chat, aren't you? Uh, uh, you are uh, already... You are in the chat. Yes. Okay. Uh, I am fine. Okay, do you have access to the to the picture? Okay, one moment. Okay, very good. Hello Cecilia, how can I help you? Hi, la conversación. Okay, give me one second. Yes, tengo el teléfono retirado de aquí. Give me one second. Okay, thanks. Thank you. 
Okay, let me check. What's up? Ahí está ya la imagen en el, en el chat. En el chat, okay. En el chat de WhatsApp. Okay. ¿Ya se agregaron al chat ustedes? Sí. Okay, very sí. good. So, do you, okay. do, do you see the picture? Yes. yes. Hasta yo aparecí en la foto, miren, hasta en la imagen. <laughs> ya me hice famoso. Okay, so please practice the conversation. Okay. Good, very good. I'm Angie. Uh, okay. Are you going are you going to do anything active? No, active. Exactly. Melvin and Vladimir. No. Hi, teacher. Okay, do you have the picture of the conversation? Yes, okay. I have, but uh, Melvin is... Doesn't. It doesn't. Melvin, are you in the chat? I'm open the chat right now. Okay, very good. So the picture is right there. So when se le abre la foto, then you practice. There is not uh, okay, download. I changed my computer and I and I am download right key right now. Okay, all right, good. So when is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So where are your plans? Well, well my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Did you fix it? Um, it's downloading. Okay. Way said wait two minutes but i don't know if the platform is slow to to download i don't know okay, okay. give me your telephone number melvin so i can send it to you right now yes uh, seven seven uh-huh i'm sorry seven eight seven seven okay seven eight seven 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 six three uh -huh. five. Okay, seventy eight seventy seven seventy six thirty five. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, it's correct. Okay, good. Let me put it here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Melvin. Okay, give me one second. Okay, I just send it to you. Yes. Got it? Yes, I got it. All right, very good. Start practicing. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Sure. Teacher. What are your plans? Well, my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. This <laughs> weekend? Well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? 
Well, my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. 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 Very good, very good. Nice, nice. Okay, so let's return to the main session. Okay. Okay, um, did you finish practicing? Yes. Okay. Now, can somebody tell me what is the function of going to? Can someone refresh my memory and tell me what is the function? To talk about yeah, the future? Yes, to talk about future, exactly. So when a person uses going to, this person is making reference to plans in the future. Plans in the future. Okay, let me show you this right here. Da -da -da. Okay, do you see the image? Yes. Yes. Okay. So on the left side, we have examples. People are going to live longer. We're going to need more pharmacists in the future. I'm not going to work after retirement. He isn't going to retire soon. We're going to go to Grand Canyon. We're going to the Grand Canyon. So if we got this information here, the first two examples are positive. The, the ones right here, they are negative, negative sentences. And remember this, we're going to go, that sounds repetitive. So people don't say we're going to go. What people do instead, they say we're going to the Grand Canyon. People are going to live longer. How do you say that in Spanish? People are going to live longer. ¿Qué dice ahí? Que van a vivir mucho tiempo. Sí, la gente va a vivir más tiempo, longer. What about number two? We're going to need more pharmacists in the future. ¿Qué dice ahí? Vamos a necesitar más que? Fármacos. Yes. Fármacos. Yes, or pharmacist, se le dice a la persona que... Um, Atiende. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, pharmacist in the future. Okay. Now, the second part, the second part is negative. He says, I'm not going to work after retirement. ¿Qué es lo que no va a hacer? Trabajar después de jubilarse. Exactly, exactly. Y en la segunda le dice algo relacionado. Dice, he isn't going to retire soon. ¿Qué dice ahí? Él no se retirará pronto. Él no se retirará pronto. Él no va a retirarse pronto. ¿Y qué dijimos si el verbo es go? 
¿por qué razón no es conveniente decir going to go? Es decir, usted lo puede decir, pero se oye repetitive. It sounds repetitive. Entonces, ¿cuál? repeat? Ok, right here. Aquí en el último, en el último espacio. Okay. Cuando aquí decimos going to live, going to need, going to work, going to retire. Ahí okay. estamos bien. Pero aquí... Going to go suena un poco repetitivo, un poco uh, redundant. Entonces, okay. eh, para evitar oírnos un poco mal, mejor omitimos el to go y solamente decimos we're going to. I'm going to Metro Centro tomorrow. To. I'm going to Metro Centro tomorrow. And, and that is future. Any questions? No, no question. All right. So, estamos bien ahí que ocupamos el going to para hablar planes para futuro. ¿Cómo voy a decir me voy a quedar en casa? Volunteer. I'm going to stay at home. Very good. I'm going to stay at home. How do you say voy a manejar el auto? I'm going to drive my the car. Perfect. I'm going to drive my car. How do you say voy a estudiar el próximo año? I'm going to study next year. That is correct. I'm going to study next year. Any questions? Preguntas? Y, y una pregunta, ¿cómo la va a hacer? Pregúnteme si voy a ordenar pizza. Are you going to order pizza? Exactly, very good. Are you going to order pizza? Yes. ¿Cómo me va a preguntar si voy a leer el periódico? Ajá. Are you going to read the newspaper? Exactly. E ese ejemplo en particular, usted lo puede hacer esa pregunta como para pedir permiso. Digamos el periódico está enfrente de alguien, pero no lo está leyendo. Eh, pues usted le va a preguntar, are you going to read the newspaper? Are you going to read the newspaper? ¿Cómo le va a preguntar usted a alguien si van a poner música? Uh -huh. Are you going to play music? Yes. Music? Exactly. Are you going to play music? You can also say put. Are you going to put music? The two options are good. Okay, any questions or comments? <clears throat> so, this is the explanation. Ahorita le voy a poner una imagen en la cual usted va a estar trabajando y va a estar haciendo los, los ejercicios. Are we ready? I guess so. Okay, do you see the picture? Do you see yes, the picture? Yes, okay, good. I need a volunteer to read the instructions, please. Volunteer to read the instructions. Um, future going to. The weekend starts tomorrow and Sam is going to be very busy. Write sentences using the picture prompts and going to. Exactly. So look at the first example. Thank you, Pamela. Look at the first example. He's going to get up at six o'clock. 
¿Qué otra oración pudiéramos haber hecho ocupando ese reloj, pero manteniéndoles con el going to? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Pamela. What is the meaning of prompts? Um, in this case, um, you're talking about tips. Son como unas, ¿cómo se dice? Unas pistas, por decir así, de qué es lo que usted tiene que ocupar o qué es lo que tiene que hacer. En este caso, prompts, estamos haciendo referencia a las imágenes que están ahí. Ah, ok. Yes. Ok, so, ¿qué otra oración pudiéramos haber hecho en la número uno? A ver, a ver. He's going to get up early. Good, very good. He's going to get up early. How do you say, él va a poner alarma? Uh -huh. He's going to put the alarm. Good, very good. He's going to put the alarm. ¿Cómo diría usted, él va a comprar un despertador? He's going to buy a, a, a alarm. Good, very good. You can say, he's going to buy an alarm. He's going to buy a clock. Um... It, it really, uh, so you can use one picture for different sentences. Y así como ahorita acabamos de hacer como cuatro diferentes oraciones con el número uno, usted y su compañero se va a poner a hacer lo mismo con, uh, con, con las demás fotos. Ahorita déjeme, le tomo una imagen y se las envío a su teléfono por si se le hace más cómodo en el teléfono. You can no. do it in your cell phone. Let me get this here. We go here. Share. Is your telephone English or Spanish? Mine's in, in English. Okay. Y los demás, ¿en qué idioma mantienen su teléfono? English or Spanish? Spanish. Spanish? <laughs> Why Spanish? Do you need more Spanish in your life? No, it's enough. Okay, what language do you need in your life? English. Very good, English. Así que mañana todos vienen con los teléfonos en inglés. Okay. Anyways, okay, ahí les cayó ya la imagen. Los voy a volver a poner a trabajar en parejas. Eh, and the idea is that you use every single picture and make sure that the structure that you use is going to. A ver, antes de irnos al trabajo en pareja, alguien que me diga algo con la número dos. Green coffee. This coffee is really hot. Ok, pero ocupando going to. I'm going to drink Good. coffee cup. I'm going to drink coffee. Um, what else? How do you say, este café va a estar bueno? This coffee is going to be good. Delicious. Yes, very good. Good, delicious. ¿Y qué tal si no le pongo azúcar? ¿Qué voy a decir? This coffee is going to be... Bad. How do you say fuerte in English? Strong. 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 So, Strong. si le echo poquita Strong. agua y nada de azúcar, usted va a decir, this coffee is going to be strong. Strong. This coffee is going to be strong. So, ¿estamos bien? ¿Estamos bien con lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Are we okay? Yes. Okay, so let me put you in groups again. Uh, una, una sugerencia, el, póngale su nombre al usuario, porque hay veces que me levantan la mano y solamente aparece el, 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 modu, el, el, el modelo del teléfono. Entonces yo no le puedo decir, dígame J5. <risa> o yo no le voy a decir, iPhone 7, ¿qué necesita? 
Galaxy so, J7. Yeah, Galaxy, what do you need? Entonces, póngale el nombre al usuario para yo poderme dirigir hacia ustedes por su nombre. ¿Ok? Ok, so, ahorita vamos otra vez a trabajar en parejas. And here we go. Gerardo and Geraldine. Okay. All right, very good. Practice, please. Cecilia and Ada. No. Cecilia, she is going to drink coffee at San Valdez, Starbucks. Okay. Or she is going to drink ice, ice coffee. Okay, okay. good. Number three. Okay. She's going to practice swimming. Okay. Um, I'm going to swim tomorrow. I'm going. I'm to going swim. To, to swim. Uh -huh. I'm. I'm going to swim tomorrow. Good. And number four, I'm going to um, what is this? Breakfast. Yes. Hello. Hello. Okay, are you practicing? ¿Están practicando? Sorry, este, acabo de entrar y, y apenas estoy escuchando, entonces no sé, todavía no la agarro. Oh, ok, good. Al, al chat de WhatsApp les acabo de enviar una imagen donde aparece going to. Entonces dijimos que el going to lo ocupamos para planes en el futuro. Eh, ¿Está usted en el chat? Are you in the chat? En WhatsApp no, porque estoy en el video desde mi teléfono. Oh, ok, ok. Um, estamos hablando del going to, que es para futuro. Y estamos tratando de hacer oraciones acerca de alguien que está haciendo planes para el sábado, por decir así. Entonces, okay. si digamos usted no tiene acceso a la imagen ahorita, lo que puede hacer es siempre practicar con María Luisa y hablar de lo que es lo que piensa hacer usted para el fin de semana. I'm going to stay home. I'm going to cook lunch for my family and different things. Okay. Okay, good. Very good. Entonces busco a María Luisa acá en el chat. Ella, ella, no, ahí está ella. María Luisa, can you say hello? María Luisa. Tendría que estarnos oyendo. Podría, debería oírnos. Ok, pero no está ahí. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Nelly Pérez. Oh, Nelly. Usted es uh -huh. Nelly. Que se, se eh, la sacó la, la conferencia. ¿Cómo, o ¿Qué sí. pasó? Si es que sí, hay veces es... que lo, lo saca uno. Ajá, y como no podía escuchar también. Ok, no María Luisa, can you hear me? Ok, entonces la voy a poner en otro grupo donde sí la escuchen. Give me one second. Ok. Vámonos con el perrito entonces. <laughs> What happened? What happened? He is going. El, el six, ¿qué es? 
Okay, let me check number six, number six. Yeah, it's a dog. No, six. Um, it's six. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me see it. <laughs> oh my God, what is this? Back, backyard. Backyard? Maybe, maybe. Vamos a ver aquí detenidamente. Dice. Oh. Bookstore. Book. Una librería. Bookstore. Eso, ah, book. Ya ve que le dije que le una librería. Ajá. Yeah. <laughs> bookstore. <laughs> Yo no le había puesto. De, yeah, what's, it's a bookstore. And then it, he's going, he's going to bookstore. Yeah, good. He's going to the bookstore. The bookstore. Yes, very good. Uh, seven. Uh huh. Yeah. He's going. Digamos con la I'm going to eat pizza. Yup. Teacher. Yes. A quest. Yes, eh, Cecilia. Eh, ¿Cómo podemos decir que eh, vamos a llevar a pasear al perro o caminar con el perro? Okay, how do you say? Vaya, pregúnteme eso en inglés. Oh. How do you say? How do you say? Pasear el perro. Pasear el perro. Okay. It's, 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 it's very simple. You say, I'm going to walk the dog. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to walk the dog. Me está diciendo, lo voy a sacar a caminar. No puede decir with dog, ¿verdad? De dog. Es que sí teníamos la idea con las compañeras, pero Ajá. estábamos en with o my dog. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to walk my dog. I'm ah, going okay. to walk the dog. Ah, I'm going with to my walk dog? with my dog, with your ah, dog. Okay. Yes. Ah, ok. So you can use, sure, sure. You can use different possessives. My dog, your dog, his okay. dog. Okay. Yes. Um, teacher. Yes. How do you say votar? Votar what? Votar what? Um, um, quiero decir, uh, por, por ejemplo, uh, votar la pizza. Eh, pero votarla por accidente o no. porque ya no sirve, por decir así. Porque yo, exacto, yo quiero decir como, por ejemplo, Tirarla I'm, la basura. Going, I'm going to throw. Throw. Throw, esto, es que no sabía cómo se pronuncia. Throw. Throw, throw. The pizza. The pizza, the pizza because it's bad. Yes, very good. Usted trajo la pizza, se le olvidó meter a la refri, tres días después eso ya no sirve. Usted dice, I'm going to throw the pizza because oh. it's not good. Okay. So, yes. Okay. Very you. good. Sí. Te sale un t-shirt. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> Are we okay? Yes. Okay, do. Okay, fine. Break up rooms, close all rooms, main set.
Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Did you finish practicing the, the exercise? Yes, we are finished. Yes. Okay. So, so remember, when you are making plans for the future, you use going to. Yes. How do you say, no te voy a decir? I am not to say you. I'm not going to tell you. To tell you. I'm not going to tell you. They say, Miri, cuénteme qué fue lo que pasó. Y they say, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going, I'm not going to tell you. Yes. How do you say, no te voy a pagar? I'm not going to pay you. Very good. How do you say, no me voy a bañar? <laughs> it, it's only an example. Don't, don't, don't take it personal. <laughs> en todo caso, usted estaría diciendo eso, pero mañana tempranito, no ahorita. <laughs> yes. How do you say, no me voy a bañar? I'm not going to. I'm not going to take a shower. Very good. I'm not going to take a shower. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish the session right now. Thank you very much for your time. And I will see you tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay. Hey, thank okay. you, teacher. Thank Have a good you. night. Thank you, teacher. Good, good night, night, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everyone.